And listen, I am going to bring Ronaldo into the conversation and I'm going to bring Portugal because I want to show you the different, the perspectives. And I want to show you, I want to make a point, but I have to bring Portugal and, and Ronaldo into it. Is that okay? Yes or no? And it's, it's not to debate. It's not to debate GOAT conversation. It's not to debate this. It's to show you what I believe about Argentina in my heart, like what I truly believe about them. All right. So with that being said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me get this off my chest. I, I, want, I want to say this like the way, how to, okay, let me word this properly. All right. So in the beginning of the tournament, my favorites were France and England and Brazil. And I never really put Argentina as a favorite because when I look at their starting 11, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I, I don't think it's a great starting 11, especially before Enzo made the starting 11. And now that Enzo made the starting 11, um, it, it's better. But when I look at Argentina and the starting 11, I still don't like it. But what I see in the Argentinian players are, are 10 players giving it all for their country, but also giving it all for their GOAT. That's what I see. I see a team that wants to do this so bad for Messi that they will eat the dirt that they walk on for him right now. They will eat the grass, bro. I see a team and a manager that will do anything to get the World Cup to their, to, back to their country, but also for their GOAT, right? For the Argentinian GOAT. That's, that's what I see. And when I look at this team and I look at how it's being managed, I look at the complete opposite situation that Portugal was in. A much more talented team, but a team that when you look at it, you go, ooh, maybe Bruno Fernandes is the best player at Manchester United. Ooh, maybe Bernardo Silva or, 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 or João Cancelo or Ruben Diaz is the best at City. Maybe, I'm not saying they are. Maybe this guy's the best at that team. And, the, and, and they couldn't come together to do it for their goal. Their go ends up getting benched. It caused controversy. The manager's making weird decisions. You see one team that's united and one team that is a bunch of looks like, look, almost egos in a way. I look at, I look at, I look at Argentina and I go, Ooh, what, what player on that team is the best player on their team beside Messi? Nobody. Martinez, the best player on Austin Villa? Is he on Austin Villa? I don't think he is. Enzo, the best player at Befica? No, but he's very up there. Is there any player that's the best player on their team? No. I just see 11 players that want to win it for Argentina and for Messi. That's what I see. And when I looked at Portugal's situation, I see Ronaldo wanting to win to better his stats and also for Portugal. I see every other player kind of wanting to win the World Cup and giving it all, but not really giving it all. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. I see two different situations. I see a team full of passion and a team full of talent that just couldn't get it right, possibly because of their coach. And, and I think that Argentina right now is getting very lucky. But when I say they're getting very lucky, you create your own luck. Did you see that goal that Alvarez scored today? That's one of the luckiest goals you'll ever see in any World Cup. But he created that luck. He created that, that run he made to run at the defender to make the, the ball kept bouncing. You create that in football. People can call it luck. People can call it a rigged run. Y'all can call it whatever you want to call it. Argentina's creating all of this. Even if the pens are soft, they're putting themselves in that situation. They're creating the luck. They're creating the rig. They're creating it. The only way the ref can help you is if you put yourself in a situation for the ref to help you, lads. At the end of the day, do I think the refs are helping Argentina? I don't. I don't think it is. It looks sketchy. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. To be, in a final, to be in a final with four penalties, it looks sketchy. But today's penalty, in my opinion, was a penalty. I don't think that the refs usually call them, but it was a penalty. And, um, and I think even if you don't give them the penalty, I think Argentina, they just had the number tonight, boys. They had, they had, the, they had the number today, man. Um, the counterattacks were brilliant. The defense looked like it wasn't going to break. I didn't see anyone do a bad game. The right back was stunning. Argentina had it today, man. Argentina had it today. Argentina hadn't had it. Listen, Argentina was terrible in the group stages, in my opinion. But I said in the beginning of the, uh, when everyone, when they lost to Saudi Arabia, I said, listen, if they win their next two games, nobody's going to remember they lost to Saudi Arabia. Type one if you remember me saying that. Type one if you remember it. They sucked in the group stage. But who cares, bro? Because the group stage don't matter. 
The knockout is when the tournament starts. And they got it together in the knockout. And Portugal had it going in the group, st group stage, and they didn't have it in the knockout. And 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 that's and that's what it comes down to, boys. You gotta have it in the knockout, and and, and they got it. It's sketchy, why you hating? I said, uh, brother. Hold on, hold on, bros. Hold on, hold on. I see all the people donating. Hold on one second. I said sketchy because it does look sketchy. Chat, give me a one if it looks sketchy. Messi joins a team that's owned by Qatar, pretty much. He goes to the World Cup. There's four penalties awarded. They're in a final with four penalties, and three of his goals are pens. It looks sketchy. It's not sketchy. I don't think it's rigged, bro. I don't think it's rigged. I don't think it's rigged. But does it look sketchy on paper? 100% it looks sketchy on paper, dude. You, like, you, you look around and you, you look at the situation of what it is. It could look sketchy, but I don't think it is, I don't think it is rigged, boys. And, and could it be rigged? I, pff, fuck if I know. I will, I will tell you one thing. If you go watch that documentary that I, that I've, I finished watching the other day, every World Cup's been rigged. <laughs> so, so, so... If this one's rigged, guess what, boys? There's nothing. There's nothing out of the ordinary, right? Like every every there's a lot, man, like that. So, um, um, which one of of the World Cup guys? Go look at the documentaries, bro. There, oh man, fuck that, guys. Type one if you watch the FIFA documentary. There, dude. All the World Cups are rigged to get where they get, and then was it was it Korea chat? That they, Korea, they, in, in that one World Cup, it's fucking nuts. But do I think Messi, uh, yeah, FIFA un, uncovered, boys. There you go. It's very corrupt. But do I think that Argentina's got to the final with help? I, I, chat, I don't. I don't believe it. I don't. I, I'm sorry, lads. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't do. I do not believe it. W or L take.